So hello lab buddies, I've got something to work on here. So over here is a MacBook Pro which I'm currently working on. This has bad speakers apparently. Picked up some speakers from AliExpress, probably okay. I was going to demonstrate first what it sounds like. This is actually one of my own albums. I, I make music as well as my electronics channel and other bits and pieces. I'm not very good at making music but I make music anyway. I, I haven't done it for a few years to be honest. This is one of my own albums, so this is my own music, so I can play it. I'm not going to get a copyright strike. If I do, something is very, very wrong with YouTube. Although, that said, I have had copyright strikes on my own music before. And I've disputed it and won, because it's my music. Anyway, let's play this track. Well, it's actually the whole album, but it's going to play this track, and we'll see how the sound is. I'll demonstrate that first, then we'll try plugging in these speakers and see if it goes away. That way you can hear it. a lot. Definitely very blown. So this isn't actually my computer, it's my dad's computer, one which I actually gave him some time ago. And he was playing music for a long time and then it failed. So I'm guessing it actually overheated the speakers and it melted. Yeah, so it's very, very poppy and distorted. We'll um, shut this back down again, pop the covers off, and see if we can fix it. So it's a nice quick diagnosis at least to figure out what's going on with it. Whether it's a speaker or whether it's the audio driver which is blown, which is also possible, but I believe it's most likely the speaker. The speaker's most likely thing to fail, to be honest. I've actually got half a dozen MacBooks underneath my desk here waiting for me to get around to fixing them. Various levels of liquid damage kind of thing. Some are probably not repairable but some might be salvageable if I'm lucky. I should really get onto doing those. That plug there, pull this one off. Plug this one in. Plug that one in, he says. I was trying to plug it in backwards. There you go. So there's the speaker, we'll just hop in there, and this one goes down the side underneath. We'll start to take all this assembly off, but it's not a big deal. So we'll plug that in properly, and we'll do the same test again. So leave it hanging off. Wake up, and Yep, that's working fine. So definitely speakers. We'll swap those out. Right, let's get this thing apart. So I already got it unplugged. Got some other cables I have to sort out as well, but it's not too hard to get into this. It's just really a little bit of a pain, really. That's all it really is. So that's that speaker there. Now you've got this flex here. You've got a well, the cable there. You have to unclip from it. Now you'll notice the cable disappears. The reason is because it disappears down underneath the CD drive. So you have to also take the CD drive out, which means popping out the hard drive, because that flex has got to come off. You've got to pop off the CD drive flex. And you have to take the screws out of this. One there, one here. One here. That, I think that's all of them. That should now lift up if I've got it right. Let's move around anyway, so I probably have got it right. Let's try and get the thing out of here. Okay, there's a the drive out. So the speaker's underneath this bit, which is a little bit awkward, but it is what it is. <laughs> so it sort of sits under here, stuck in there. So actually, it's a bit of a tight little gap just in there, actually coming out the hood of the keyboard, interestingly. I've never actually looked at this part before, but yeah, anyway, it's under there, so we've got to get this out. So I think it's just stuck down, a bit double-sided tape, basically. So I'll just lift it up and pop it out. There we go. That's it out. 
So, let's have a look. Pretty dusty in there. Not sure which one of these has melted. This one's actually feeling a bit country, so it's probably this one. So, we'll just get this, shove it back in. Reverse the process. Because it relies on double sided tape and stuff, anyway, it's going to just stick it back in like it was. Same positioning. Now we'll just sit there like that. Okay. Put the CD drive back in again. So let's slot this back in. Get the cables and stuff out the way so I don't pinch anything. Cool, just unplug them of course, but uh, no, way of it the easy way. Now this will go underneath that drive bracket. Just in this corner over here, it's got to go underneath. It doesn't get pinched. Yeah, that's there, that's on top of there. It's got this sticker from the battery. It's always a bit of a pain. Lift it up and get it out of the way. That should now sit in there nicely. It does. So I put those screws back in. Just visually check the other ones, make sure they're going to line up. Apple stuff's usually made to pretty good tolerances anyway, so usually once one screw goes in, they pretty much all go in within reason. A couple of screws in a different lineup. Pop that back on. Pop that back on. We'll forget about those. So we pop the speaker assembly back in. So that goes around there. Goes to the channel. And also this needs to go there too. So I need to sort of thinking over the top will be better. So we'll pop this in. Got to pop this cable into that little carrier there. Carefully without damaging the cable. Then we do that, make sure the cable can pop down the side. Got to take the slack out of this. So it's a pretty easy repair. And it's actually the first time I've done one. I haven't actually done this particular repair before. So it made it a little bit interesting for me too. It has that little bit of foam that sticks on the back of this. Let's try and lay all these down where they're supposed to go. Inside this gap, that's popped out again. Of course, it has. But yeah, the other connector had a little bit of foam on top of it, so I'm gonna do something to retain this because it could easily just keep popping out. So this had this little bit of foam on the back of it. So we can peel this off and move it over. Yes, we can. What that'll do is it'll press against the casing, hopefully, and help hold it down. That's in place now. Let's put the top cover back on again, or bottom cover back on again. Put the screws back in. The middle ones are slightly different to the rest. Let's point that out, they've got like a little step on them. The little shoulder screws. I don't know why the middle ones are different to all the rest, but they are. Yes, yeah, so I did shut this thing down before I did this too, I should point that out. Did shut the power down, and actually turn the computer off, so it wasn't trying to run at the same time I was doing all that. Not good to be plugging cables in and out um, with the power on. I mean, I did it before with a speaker because it's a speaker cable, it doesn't really matter too much. Can't really get that one wrong when you're trying to think these things like unplug the drive or unplug the uh, hard drive, things like that, then you know you run the risk of damaging something. Power it up again and retest. This is be when we finally got no audio at all. <laughs> right, yeah, that sounded good. Come back once it's buried. Okay, just load the whip page now. Oh, look, adverts. Of the seven wonders of the world, none are in New Zealand. Adverts. Yep. Great. That's working fine. The speakers on these aren't particularly powerful anyway, which is probably part of the reason that they got blown up in the first place is because he had it turned right up because he doesn't have an auxiliary speaker system. So if he is going to be playing stuff on this a lot for a long periods of time is to get him to have a auxiliary system, maybe a Bluetooth system or something like that, so you don't have to plug it in. We'll see. Yep, sounds fine. Let's wait for something to come up which stresses a bit more. Yeah, so that's a good repair I think, it's nice and simple. And check out the other videos at the end. Definitely check out the videos at the end, the other playlists. 
um, Apple repairs, Apple iPhones, MacBooks, stuff like that, or my other general electronic repairs as well. Yep, that sounds fine. Happy with that. Like the video if you thought it was interesting. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Or if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.